Problem 209, page 40 of the book Strength to Materials, 4th edition by Paitel and Singer. An aluminum bar having a cross-sectional area of 0.5 square inch carries the actual loads applied at the positions shown in the figure. Compute the total change in length of the bar if modulus of elasticity is 10 times 10 to the 6 PSI. Assume that the bar is suitably braced to prevent lateral buckling. Okay, so we have here the bar. It's divided into three sections, a three foot long section, five and four feet long section. And then there are four external loads, 6,000, 7,000, 5,000, and 4,000. First, we cut a section here. And then draw the free body diagram. We have here the external load, 6,000 pounds to the left. So meaning the internal force should be to the right. Let's call that N sub 1. So N sub 1 is in tension. And then we sum up forces horizontal, equate that to 0. Considering forces to the right as positive, we have N sub 1, which is to the right, minus the one to the left, which is 6,000 pounds, equals 0. N sub 1 is 6,000 pounds. This will be in tension. And with the internal force already known, we can determine the deformation for that section. That should be the internal force times the length divided by the area divided by the modulus of elasticity. Delta 1 is 6,000 times the length of 3 feet, 1, divided by the area which is given and the modulus of elasticity. Let's see if the units are consistent. We have pounds here. This one is pounds per square inch. And then this is in square inch and this is in feet. So we'll have our deformation in feet. Let's just convert this to inches by multiplying 12. And our result for delta 1 should be in inches. 6,000 times 3 times 12 divided by 0 0.5 divided by 10 divided by 10 to the 6 equals 0 0.0432 inch this is since this is in tension so this deformation is elongation and then if we take elongation as positive then if there's a shortening here it should be negative then we cut here for the next section and then we draw the free body diagram. So there are now two external forces included. That's the 6,000 pounds here and the 7,000 pounds here. So if you look at the diagram, the force going to the right is greater than that of going to the left. So that means our internal force should be to the left. Let's call that N sub. So this should be in compression. And we sum up forces horizontal, 7,000 minus 6,000 minus N sub 2 equals 0. And N sub 2 is 1,000 pounds in compression. Our delta 2 is N sub 2, L sub 2, area, modulus of elasticity. Then that's 1,000 times the length of 5 feet convert that to inches divided by the area and divided by the modulus of elasticity. So delta 2 is 1000 times 5 times 12 divided by 0 0.5 divided by 10 divided by 10 to the 6 equals 0 0.012 inch and since this is compression so our deformation here is shortening and since we consider elongation to be positive delta 2 should be negative and lastly section here consider the right side of the section so this is 4000 and this is the internal force here let's call that 
and sub 3. So, summation of forces horizontal, we have 4,000 minus n sub 3 equals 0. n sub 3 is 4,000 pounds in tension. And delta 3 is n sub 3 times L sub 3 divided by area divided by modulus of elasticity. That's 4,000 times 4 times 12. We change that to inches divided by 0 0.5 divided by 10 divided by 10 to the 6. So delta 3 is 4,000 times 4 times 12 divided by 0 0.5 Divided by 10, divided by 10 to the 6 is 0 0.0384 inch. So, since that's in tension, so we expect the last section to elongate. And finally, the total elongation should be the sum of the three deformations. That will be 0 0.0. 432 minus 0 0.012 plus 0 0.0384 total deformation is 0 0.0432 minus 0 0.012 plus 0 0.0384 equals 0 0.0384 age.